Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI, and real quick today, I'm gonna to talk about red dot slide cuts and why it's very important to have recoil posts. All right, so let's get into this real quick. This is an FN502, awesome 22 pistol, super modular as far as being able to fit a lot of sights on here, but this relies on a plastic slide plate that does not have recoil posts, meaning you can get this guy zeroed in, and then you can hit the sight, and you can actually change your zero. You actually move that sight around because those recoil posts are not keeping the sight locked in place, even though he is tightened down. Here is an option that does actually have recoil posts. Uh, this guy right here, you can see just like that. You can twist on this thing. You could bang on this thing. That's not going to come loose unless you actually break the optic itself. Here's another option, slightly different. This uses basically like a 1913 adapter in the back, not really, but a 1913 style. This guy is not going to come loose by accident. You're not going to bang it, knock it loose. It's not going to work its way loose. These options are the way to go if you have a serious use for having a red dot on a firearm. Fun stuff is fun, but even at some point, it's not very fun when you keep losing your zero because your optic is moving around all by itself. Anyway, Caleb Downing with SDI. Hope you found it interesting and helpful. Hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.